Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bloodborne. My name is Brian, Emo Brian, your host and commentator. And here we are, as I bump the mic, trying to get it all nice and set up for y'all so you can hear my beautiful voice. Here we are about to do the Hypogean Jail. The Hypogean Jail, whatever the hell it's called. It's a broken ass tombstone right there. But yeah, we saved this area. Remember, we were here earlier. We were here like two or three episodes ago. Just real quick. Wanted to get that moon rune. The moon rune. And that way we could uh, equip it like we did at the end of the last episode where we took out the bitch of Hemwick. Down in Hemwick Charter Lane. And that's all taken care of. So here we go. Yagul, the Unseen Village. Now let's get this motherfucker... Before he goes down there. Ouch. Ooh. Nice try, buddy. I only have five. I'm gonna have to buy some more, uh... Some more blood vials. Once I get some souls. I mean, some echoes. <laughs> 1504. Nice. Okie doke. So, yeah. Don't forget, there is... Actually, it's down this one. There's that wandering madness. We got it when we were here last time. I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to take it right now. I'm going to explore down here real quick, too, just to show it off again. This is where we came from when we were captured. That was our jail cell right there. There's nothing there. Uh, there was an item right here. Next to this note, which I will read again. Madmen toil serotipitously, <laughs> serotipitously <laughs> in rituals to beckon the moon. Uncover their secrets. So repetitiously, is that it? Let's go down here, and then this is where we found um, Adela. If you haven't found her yet, there's a thick cold blood somewhere around here too. I don't know if there's a body. That's probably where it was, but she was just she was hiding over here, and we we wore our full church garb. You actually just need, or actually, I don't even think we wore the full garb. You just need the uh, or the full outfit. You just need the garb. You need the chest piece. And that's good enough to convince her that you're a part of the church. And she's like, hey, help me out. Help a sister out. And I was like, alright, cool. So showed that off. Um, we're going to go down there towards the end of the episode. That leads to the area's boss. We're going to take care of him. That's Dark Beast Parl. Now let's take care of this guy. Ooh, nice try, pal. kind of how I deal with these guys when they're one-on-one. -on -one. I just land the two stunning, like, attacks. It triggers them going into, like, rage mode. And it all works out. So now it expects you to go through there. But watch out for this crazy lady. These enemies will grab your ass and drain your insight. As, well, actually, I don't think they drain your blood. Because they drain the shit out of your health, though. But they also drain your insight. And that's what's dangerous about them. So shoot around this way. This is where our second wandering madness is going to be. <laughs> Just gonna keep chopping away. There we go. Oh, it's not. Alright, wow. That gave me a lot of time. I guess attacking it kind of stuns it when it, I don't know, does that. But yeah, so that's our second Wandering Madness in this area. That's both of them too, by the way. That's it. Just those two. So we don't got to worry about that too much. This leads right back to the lamps. That's a nice little shortcut. There's a door on the other side too, but that one doesn't open anywhere. At least I don't think it does, it's just kind of. Some doors just remain closed. Even that, remember that one that led to the Cleric Beast area? Where you would have fought him, it would have been like a little shortcut back there. In the Cathedral Ward. Oh no, we got an angry pig! Ouch, damn. That is one angry ass pig. Get my blood back my life there we go two blood vials cool so we open that door up let's go open up this door now too there's something on this side as well a little shortcut a couple items too at the end we're gonna bang a left over here though and try and avoid these guys there's a fucking nabber here with two dogs oh damn fucking nabbers Ooh, ouch sorry though we took care of a couple of them i just don't want to get like this damn pooch is 
It's worrying me. There we go. <laughs> God damn it. See, it stunned me. I couldn't, like, move. Fucking nabbers, dude. I knew my... my I knew my ex was gonna bounce. I was just, like, praying for some reason that it wouldn't. I was like, please don't bounce off this wall. We got these two nabbers. That's fine. We'll just cuddle. We can bang a left now out of that. Uh, I'm not even gonna edit this part out. We can get right back there and... I don't know if it's less than a minute from when I died, but... It's good enough. We'll let that nabber do his thing. Shoot on out this way. I guess this would be a good time. If you miss that wandering madness, to snag it again. That pig will be back, but whatevs. I'll just kill it again. It's gonna take a minute to come back anyway. There's a little message there. That means that nabber has our fucking blood echoes. Maybe one of the dogs has it. That'd be nice. That'd be real cool. Oh, is that it actually on the. That looks like it. Yeah, right there. Alright. Game's being generous to us. I appreciate it. Got one of the dogs. Oh. Get that other dog. And we'll get him with another visceral. There we go. And then one light attack, and he's done. There we go. Jeez. Why can't shit ever be that easy? It's always gotta be difficult for me. There's no enemies down here. This must be where they start out at. There's two items though, so we're gonna grab these real quick. It's with bloodstone shards. Or twin, yeah, pl <laughs> twin bloodstone shards. Frenzy cold blood. We're gonna open this door too. This is gonna lead to the area. See, there's these two ladies here. Two crazy ladies. Oh. And this leads to the area that leads to the boss. Boom. We'll get in there later though. We'll deal with all of that later. Because I want to go back to uh, the hunter's dream. Before we head that way. Before we take on the boss. There'll be a few items we nab though along the way to the boss. We're going to get a item here. Um, or a weapon I guess. It's going to help us out in the chalice dungeon. We're also going to get some bolt paper. That'll be our first bolt paper. So that's pretty cool. That'll help you against that boss in the chalice dungeon. Oh jeez. I was like I got stuck. I was trying to dodge that. And it was just like nope. You're stuck Brian. Have fun. Let's read this note. Behold a pale blood sky. Two blood vials. Yeah, see, I need to go buy blood vials. I think I'm going to buy some fire paper, too, because the boss is weak against fire. And they're strong against bolts, so we got to keep that in mind. See, I think I give these guys a one swipe attack. Yeah, I do. It's probably my best bet to use against them. It's quicker than that heavy attack, and it covers more ground. At least that they would hop around. We can grab our three madman's knowledge, but see, this door doesn't open. Or perhaps it opens later. I can't remember. Maybe, actually, did that... I think that leads to Castle. Does that lead to Castle Canehurst? I don't know. Can't remember where that leads, or maybe into further into Yargul. Got the Yargul black garb set here. It's garbage. I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna put that right. It's just straight into the storage chest. It's that shit armor. The armor I have on right now is probably better in every way, shape, and form. So, but we're doing pretty good. We're clearing this area out. Got one more area to hit over here. See, we're getting a lot more blood echoes. I'm um, doing things after. I'm, I'm glad I, I took this route, I guess. Let's get this pig that's over here. Piggy wiggy. Oink oink, motherfucker. Oh no! Jeez. Thank god my frames were luckily on point because I was just mashing circle. There's our bolt paper. Two more blood vials. Yeah, that squish attack, like basically, that's like a one hit KO. I think, I feel like it is. I don't know. Unless you have really good, really good armor and really good just everything that would protect against it. I think it's gotten me every time. Where There's that item. There it is. Frenzy cold blood. Getting some really good cold blood. See, this place is kind of overpowered a little bit. In a way, but I don't know. Not really, I guess. In the same, same way. Uh, I got an elevator here, but we cannot activate it yet. Womp, womp. There's nothing behind it either, so don't worry about going behind it. I already checked. You can thank my practice playthrough. Let's drop down here. You could drop on the top of that. Drop on the top. You could drop on the top of that carriage, but whatever. I fucked it up, so. Owie. 
dogs are doing some damage. I don't want to die again. One of the mics picking up that siren. There's a siren. Something's going on outside. I don't know if it's an ambulance or what. Alright, so there's a fucking nabber up there. See him? Holding that bag ready to nab some. Look out for that bastard. I think it's the only item that's over there, too. Um, or over in this area, that is. Got all these dogs. We gotta take care of these fools. These furry fools. Alright, so there's two dogs here. And I wanna make sure that... Oh, fuck it. I'm just going for it. Alright, here we go. Oh, man. I was like, shit. See, the thing about this game is, like, when you press a button, you're kind of committed to it. You're committed to that attack. It's like a little bit of a delay, and you're like, oh, man, I'm going to die. But we took care of him pretty good. That was nice. Bloodstone shard. And we got the t the Tonitrus. Tonitrus. The Tonitrus. It's a pretty cool weapon. It's not going to be at all good against this boss, but here, let me bust it out real quick. Got yourself a Macy. It's all lightning and shit. Get it all charged up. I believe this is the only weapon that does this. So I could be wrong. I don't think there's like a fire version or anything. But you can charge it. And it just kind of naturally does like that. That bolt damage. See, bolt 40. And it has the physical attack. It's not like pure. So it's not too bad. I don't know. It's not going to be shit against this boss. It'll be pretty good against the first boss though. Of the chalice dungeon that we have coming up. So we're getting some bolt stuff. So we got, we got some nice gnarly bolt things to use against enemies. Okay, that's that's all that's up here, yeah. So, cool. Let's scoot on back. We're gonna head back to the Hunter's Dream real quick. I'm gonna take a visit there, a little trip. I'm gonna fill up on blood vials. Return to the Hunter's Dream. We only have a few items to grab on our way to the boss. Uh, actually, I think we do have blood vials that we're gonna snag on on the way, and some quick silver bullets is probably it though. Nothing too crazy. It's a lot of blo um, blood vials, though. It's like five or six. So, uh... Now, against this boss, I purchased Henrik's gear. Which, uh, you have to get from the messenger bath up top. Like, you, you know, you buy stuff with insight from it. Whoa. Let's see, I'm at seven. Let's go with... Oh, wait, I didn't mean to... I wanted to be at 15, not... Alright, whatever, that's fine. I do need, like, blood vials anyway. I also need to buy two of these. But I should probably do that after the boss fight with the boss souls instead of... Instead of this. Ah, uh, fire paper. Oh, man. I'll grab... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll grab three. Okay, let's level up now. Welcome. Very well. I'm gonna go health. Ooh, I'm close. I need... About 300 more. Alright, I could do that. Let me sell some shit real quick. Didn't even need those. I didn't realize I didn't have any Quicksilver bullets in my thing, so I sold all those. Yeah, that should be enough right there. Saw that bone marrow ash. I got a ton of that. Welcome. Very well. Woo! Puts us right over. Okay, going for health. Now there is a, um... A summon that we can get. There's or an aid. You can summon a helper for this boss fight, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Apparently, when you summon the first guy, this is what I read, okay, on on one of the wikis. But apparently, when you summon your first ally, it does not increase the boss's health or anything in any way. But when you summon a second one, it increases it by one and a half. And then when you summon a third one, it increases it like double, so it doubles their health. So apparently that's what happens when you're summoning allies. So I don't mind summoning one ally for each of these bosses as, uh, at all. It doesn't seem to be like Dark Souls. Here we go. We're just going to cut on down here and bang immediately left. Ignore that nabber. Fucking nabbers. Alright, so you're going to see, yeah, that guy run across. So go ahead and just book it in. Book it in there. Because one, oh, yep, there you go. From the right's going to try and grab you. Oh, shit. That one tried to nab me. Everything here just tries to nab you. I don't get it. What's with all the nabbing? All right, don't don't let these guys fool you. They're hanging out. They're alive though. But yeah, those two those two crazy ladies were the ones that. Here's that door that we opened. See? Oh shit! I don't want to go out there and trigger that nabber and his pups. 
Six blood five. <laughs> Straight into my chest. That's fine. I can just stockpile those. Got ten of those. Now there's a couple of nabbers in that room. All right, so we're gonna go around here real quick. Those are the only two items that we get to in this area. So, well, like I said, not a whole lot. I thought there was more at first, but when, then I like came to the realization. I was like, you know, it's not really that. There's like one room. It's just a couple items. I don't know how I haven't aggroed that other one yet, but I'll take it. There we go. Nice try, Nabber. Oh shit. Oh shit. I did not mean to do that attack, but I will take it. Oh god. There we go. Woo! There we go, isn't too bad. Two nabbers for two blood vials, I'll take that. I'm basically at full health. I have my blood gem in, uh, in my sword, so I should be just slowly, re yeah, I'm, I am slowly recovering it, nice. Do I still have my, I guess I don't have my lantern out anymore, but yeah, here we go. Now I equipped uh, Henrik's armor because it's it has a really good bolt resistance. I, pro I don't know if it's the best in the game, it might be. It's definitely one of the best in the game, and this boss has a heavy bolt uh, thing with it, so let's go ahead and ring our little friend up here. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. We need your help, bud. Let's summon our ally and get our friends. I need to make sure my... Here, let's let's put the fire paper. This this boss is weak against fire, so that's a good good little thing. And I'm going to put Yusufka's blood... Yusufka? Yusufka's blood vial there and the blood of Adela, just in case. But what's up, Defector Antle? This is our buddy for this fight. He's like, what's up, Henrik? And I'm like, this is, I'm not Henrik. I'm, you know what? I am Henrik. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. He's like, old friend. He doesn't know. You can't tell either. Count Sexy's just mysterious. He hides that face so wonderfully. Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and bust out the fire paper right out the gate. I'm going to try and rush in there as he stands up. You see he's got all this, all this bolt on him. You can get a few attacks off. As he's preparing. Ooh, man. Yeah, so look out for these swipes. The idea of this uh, fight here is to kind of hang out underneath him. And Defector Ansel is going to be a really nice uh, distraction, hopefully. Ouch. If you whack at its legs, like, you know, three or four times. I don't know. I guess the same leg, you know. Oh, shit. Watch out for that attack. No. See what I mean, though? you got to, like, commit to your attacks. Try and stay under him. God. I'm moving so fast. Just give me with everything, too. Oh, shit. Get away. Get away. Come on, Ansel. You know better than that. There we go. At least Ansel's burning. Using that fire. There we go. So you can knock out its, uh, boom. You can knock out its bolt, like, attack. Or its bolt for, like, a little bit. Once it goes down. And then you get some free hits on it, too. Just like that. Oh, man. If you're, like, right underneath when you use that sting attack, you'll catch it real good. Go, go, go! Oh, okay. I thought he, I thought he was doing his one attack. We got it. This is why we didn't fight this boss earlier. Alright, you're doing good, Ansel. Hang in there. Keep distracting him. Man, he's getting away. There we go. Oh, wow. I missed that whole attack. There we go. He's down again. Oh, he's going to recharge it. There it is. There we go. Took him out. Whacked him right in the face. Woo-wee. Good job, Ansel. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of us. Actually, we were a great team. All right. Let's go activate this lamp as Ansel disappears. 
Boom. Now we're actually not going to take that lamp back. We're going to go ahead and open this door to Old Yarnum. We're going to go talk to that Mr. Dejura up top that was shooting us earlier. He's going to appreciate that we defeated the Dark Beast Parl. He's going to be like, whoa. But he's going to tell us, don't kill the monsters in Old Yarnum. So if you make peace with him and then you attack the monsters, he will attack you. So keep that in mind. It's a pretty short trip up to him, actually, just from there. We'll use our one of our hunter's marks to get back. I'll just wind up along this way. Let's go into one hand. This is my like travel mode. I like using one hand to travel, but let's go up this Let's run up this ladder real quick. Then we'll go up another ladder, and then we'll go up another ladder, and we'll be there at where Dejura's at, hanging out by his gun. So yeah, good stuff. We can finally traverse this area without him shooting us, but like I said, we cannot. I don't even think we really need to come back to Old Yarnum if I'm being honest, so I don't know. I wouldn't worry about it too much. We're also going to shift the next uh, like day cycle in, and we're going to turn it to nighttime or evening or whatever. We're going to move time forward this episode as well when we go touch the, or inspect the thing on the altar where we defeated Vicar Amelia at. Now, Jura's kind of tough. You can fight him if you want, but you can just get the item, and you get a gesture, too, if you talk to him. What's well, up? Well, well. How did you get in here? Uh, it's no matter. What brings you to old Yarnum? Uh, I've no interest in matters further up. But you must not disturb this place. The beasts do not venture above, and mean no harm to anyone. If you still insist on hunting them, then I will hunt you first. You understand me? Now, if you choose hunt the beasts of Old Yarnum, he's hostile. If you spare oh, yes. the thing, the beasts, then I no longer he'll be mean, cool. But I was once a hunter too. There's nothing more horrific than a hunt. <coughs> In case you fail to realize, the things you hunt, they're not beasts. They're people. One day you will see. Jura has hopes for these beasts. I mind. mean people. But first, a farewell gift. I have no use for it anyway. Powder keg hunter badge. Brush off dust. There we go. You still get the hunter badge if you kill him. And you get his armor set, actually, which is the only way to get it. You have to kill him. So maybe I'll come back later and kill him, but I'm not going to do that right now. He's like, farewell, Henrik, and I'm like... I'm not Henrik, I'm... Wait a minute. Yeah, I am Henrik. Count Henrik. Count Henrik the Sexy. Let's reawaken at the lamp and then head back to the Hunter's Dream. Where I will purchase two of those Ritual Bloods and then I think I'll level up my Endurance to 20. Does that sound good? Here, I want to re-equip my, my old shit too. Told you it was like a shorter area. It wouldn't have been as short if we... I mean, I don't know. We kind of went down there and did all that anyways. But I wanted to get the NPC. I wanted to get the rune. We're collecting more blood echoes, you know. I can't believe I beat him on the first try, though. That's good. It took me like... I think it was three tries. I'm a practice playthrough to defeat Parl. So, that's good. It's good stuff. What's up? Hold on. I gotta buy his ritual bloods. First and foremost thing. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna sell these pebbles though. I don't want that shit. I'm gonna keep the rest of this stuff though. Yeah. Alright. Rope Molotov cocktail. Now we have access to those thanks to the power keg uh, badge. I'm gonna need two of these since I fucked up the chalice dungeon. You don't need to buy these two. You should already have two if you have not done a chalice dungeon yet. So that's just me fucking up and needing to buy two. Let's see if anything new is in the uh, messenger bath. Get bolt paper now. Look at that. I don't know if that bloodshot eyeball was there. I think it was. Pungent blood cocktail. Fire paper. Bolt paper. Cool. Just max out. I might sell all 10 of those depending on what I need. So let's put these 10 back. We'll put that away. We'll put that away. Actually, I need that for next episode. So let me pull that out. It's a good episode to just kind of show off my 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 chest, what I've collected. So this is what I have in storage right now. Remember, I bought some of these. I didn't find all these. I purchased some of these. Like Gascoigne stuff. Bought that from the messenger bath. He 
These are trash. I think I'm gonna put that on my sword. I think I'm gonna sell that one. These runes are trash too. I might sell that. No, I'll collect the runes. Okay, yeah, let's visit the doll now. See how much Welcome. I need after I level up a few times. Very well. Let me stand close. Yeah, it's exciting. Next episode, we're gonna do our first chalice dungeon. We're gonna have a good weapon against the boss for it. The first boss, that is. Which I think might be the most difficult out of the three bosses we're gonna face. Well, if I'm being honest. So I need like 10,000, huh? Um, here, I'll sell all 10 of those. Might have to use some of my cold blood. I gotta put that shit away. Uh, you know what? Before I do sell those, let's go check out the. What do I have on my weapons? Did I? I think I have that fire one, but in my other playthrough, I have um other fire. Yeah. See, I don't have the. I don't know if I like sold them or what. But I can't, like, equip those, you know? In fact, can I even fortify? Ooh, I can fortify Ludwig's. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Because I need chunks for the Hunter Axe. Ooh, it's close. I can put two in here now, right? Yeah, I can. All right. Okay, so this does one more. So I'll put that one in there, I suppose. Um, nah, I like that my HP continues to recover, actually. I don't know. It's the tier one that does. I thought it was the blood one. So I'm gonna sell these other ones. You won't get shit for these gemstones, but whatever. Actually, I might keep... I'm gonna keep that fire one. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that fire one, I think. That must be all I'm going to sell. Okay. So let me put those away. I'll pull out the rest of that bone marrow ash. And then I'll use some of these uh, cold blood stuff. Whatever it is, some cold blood shit. We'll put Hen Henrik's stuff away. We'll probably bust this out later in case there's another boss or something. Or another area that will be good against bolt damage. But you can see the... Yeah, that Yargle shit's trash. Maybe there's something special about it that I just don't know about. I don't know. And I have the chalice out, so we're going to need the chalice, we're going to need the ritual blood, and we're going to need a thousand blood echoes. So that's what you're going to need next episode. Let me go ahead and use one of these. Okay, let me go ahead and use two of these. It's not going to quite be there. Uh, does this do 500? Fuck. Well, here, I gotta see how much... <laughs> Let's Welcome do this. Alright, here we go. Put this last point into... Into endurance. I think... Oh, I was gonna get these to 25. That's right. That was my new plan. Let's get them to 25 each. So we'll do 21 in each of them. I think I'm at like 24 in health for my other file, but my endurance has been kind of taking the hit, so I'm like, uh... But yeah, here we go, and then I'll be ready... Oh, that one's a thousand. Whatever, dude. I'll be ready for next episode's chalice thing. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue the game's timeline. Get a little cutscene here. Draw this episode out. There we go. We drew this one out to like 30 or so minutes. It's nice. I like getting NPC shit done, you know, when I have extra time during episodes. But some places, some locations are just so goddamn big. I'm like, geez. I don't have time to do NPC shit, you know. But this one I did. So we'll get this little cutscene here, and then we're going to end the episode here in the Grand Cathedral. Cause, uh, and then I'll meet you back, you know. I'll meet you in the Hunter's Dream next episode for the Chalice Dungeon. There's no need in spending time traveling back there, you know, recording. But let's go ahead and touch Vicar Amelia's skull thing here on the altar. Master Willem, on the skull-tier. I bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. You sing now to betray me. <laughs> Who is this guy? I tell you, I will Willem? Our we are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. 
fear the old blood. I must take my leave. All these mysterious voices. Hey, what's going on? Trippy dude. But there we go. I guess we're like, I don't know, you could say it's like the end of the first act, I suppose. I don't really know what to classify, but uh, we are going to end the episode here next to this Hunter Lamb. Next episode will begin in the Hunter's Dream and we'll do the Chalice Dungeon, our first one. So I'm going to thank you all for watching. This has been Emo Brian, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.